Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. So, uh, let's continue with the updated series for Hafkish and Impopable. I'm gonna continue with the intermediate maps and I'm gonna show you right now downstream on Impopable. This was the very last map that I did before the uh, update came out and so I did the new map. So, uh, yeah, for this Impopable gameplay I will be going with Quincy as hero. He is the very first hero that you have in the game and he's also a free hero, so you don't have to buy it. And then, uh, as always, I will be going without monkey knowledge, continues, and powers. So this strategy, as long as uh, you have all the upgrades and all the towers unlocked, can be uh, used by everybody. So that's good. Now you're gonna start with Quincy. You're gonna place Quincy closest to the bottom here and to the right side. And then, very important, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set Quincy on close. So the target here, we want to set it on close. Uh, and that's going to be important because of the very simple reason that in this early round, sometimes destroying the balloons with more layers like these blues, uh, it's uh, a better option than uh, just attacking the first balloons. So for example, sometimes the red balloons. And I found that the close targeting is going to just allow you to not even need to micro. So you just place it on close and that's it. Uh, you don't have to place it on strong and then you know, change it to first and strong first. You just need to leave it on close, and that's enough. And then uh, during round eight or at the end of round eight, you can place the boomerang right here, closest to the top, and then to the left side. Very important here: switch the arm with which the boomerang is attacking. So make it attack with the left arm, and then you can place Quincy back to uh, first. And uh, that's it, pretty much for the early rounds. Then you're gonna get the boomerang 100, and then you're gonna get it 110. So you're gonna make the boomerang slightly stronger, and this then is gonna be enough so that then you can place the first uh, farm. Something I recommend everybody to do on Impopable is to farm, so to place farms and to increase the income somehow. You can also increase it not with farms, you can go with like alchemists, you can go with buccaneers, you can go with snipers. All these other towers and abilities can give you some extra cash, even the middle path of the heli. But I think that farms are just the most efficient method. And yeah, that's something I just recommend. Um, all right, so no need to use the Quincy level three in these early rounds other than on round 15. So um, yeah, you should already have all the damage needed to destroy the, the blinds. You can see that the boomerang being able to attack with the left arm means that uh, it has a lot more pierce and it can pop a lot more blinds. Now here, round 15, be careful. When you see the first ping coming up, just click and use Queen Silver 3. And that's it. That's all you're gonna need for round 15. And then here, uh, placing the first farm. Now you're gonna place it here, closest to the top here and to the right side. So there should be there should be like a spot. All right. Uh, then here you're gonna just get the boomerang two one zero and then two two zero. So more attack speed and then even more pierce with the. Uh, boomerangs all right now there is there some balloons sneaking past but i'm gonna place very quickly a sniper and the sniper should take care of these few balloons and can sneak past so uh yeah here we go and now very easily i'm gonna just get this uh, farm one zero zero then two zero zero and then actually i think i'm gonna get it right away like two two zero Round 22, I just recommend to use Queen Silver 3 halfway through the round to make sure you can just uh, uh, destroy all the balloons pretty efficiently. Because, for example, see that otherwise, um, yeah, you have these last balloons that you can pop with the sniper, but it's pretty close. So it's always a risk. Uh, 
all right to one zero farm i'm gonna just get it now two to zero like as as fast as i can next is labnus run 28 so for that you wanna just get the sniper one zero zero Now next upgrade before you go with the bank is to actually get the boomerang to 3-0. So you're gonna go for the middle path. Remember that the middle path increases not only the attack speed but also the damage to uh, map class prints. So uh, that is already a very good upgrade to uh, for round 40 for the moab. Queens, he should be able to handle all the camos by himself. And also now Queens is level 7, so that means that Queens can also pop Labrions with the exploding arrow. So that's why like for around 37 and 38, you're not gonna really need uh, um, that many other towers to pop Labrions. Now here just wait the end of round 35 and then get the uh, the bank All right here we go then you can remove the uh, obstacle here in the center of the loop so you can actually place towers now inside and uh, I just recommend going here for this uh, attack shooter very cheap and very efficient tower in this map because of the loops and uh, yeah just go for the attack shooter like uh, 203 that's the upgrade you're gonna need. And after you get the attack shooter 203, uh, remember at the end around 37 to use Quincy level 3. That's very, very important because of the camos. Uh, these white camos right here, uh, you cannot pop them unless you go with, uh, you use Quincy level 3. So just make sure you use it. You can see that here, the Queen's exploding arrow can take care of the labyrinths so that's why as i said before you're not gonna really need uh, much else uh queen c is level eight that's very important because uh it's gonna be it's gonna he's gonna be able to do more damage to the moab around uh 40. and then just get here the attack shooter 204. you want to use queen zero three as soon as the moab is in range and uh, yeah that should be it because uh, like even if some balloons can sneak past, remember that you have the sniper. So uh, yeah, there is zero, zero uh, trouble there. Then here I just recommend to get this sniper one to zero for round forty-two because there are some more um, some more camos there, and so Quincy alone mm, struggles. So yeah. Oops. So here village. Closest to the top, closest to the right side. Uh, yeah, and then just going for the village 0, zero 2 with this count. And you can see here the camos. So, all right, village with this count. I'm gonna just get it 1, zero 2 so that, for example, now also the boomerang has the extra range and also the sniper should be in range of the village. So, uh, yeah, that's of course uh, nice. And then I'm gonna place an alchemist right here, closest to the top and to the right side. And of course this alchemist is gonna be discounted now because it's in range of this village. And now just very simply I'm gonna get this alchemist 300. Actually just 200 because of the fact that at the end of round 45 you can collect the bank. And that's gonna be 7000. And um... Yeah, you can actually place a full uh, new bank so that's what i recommend to do so i'm gonna try to save up here as much cash as possible all right here we go trying to place now try to leave enough room to place like another farm up here so i'm gonna try to place this farm like this 
so that uh, like I have enough room on the top side to place uh, to place another one. All right, here we go. So two, three, zero, farm, and uh, uh, yeah, now let's just upgrade the alchemist. Don't go with this village uh, with um, um, jungle drums. And here I'm gonna actually need to switch the sniper to, to first, otherwise these camos can just uh, sneak past. So uh, yeah, I'm just leaving now the sniper on first. Right, Alchemist 400. Uh, do I need to use, uh, yeah, actually I might need to use Queen Seal of all three. Unfortunately, but yeah. The camo regrows. Um, yeah, always uh, problematic. Now, or I could actually even get this. Yeah, I could get this sniper. I'm gonna get the sniper 130. So now I shouldn't worry about camos like until round uh, like uh, round 59 or even later. So uh, yeah, I like this sniper 130 so I don't have to worry about camos anymore. And I can just go now for the alchemist here, upgrade it. Alright, so now I'm gonna try to place another village here. Alright, close this to the top. Um, and I'm gonna get this village now um, to, to zero. So giving especially attack speed. Like you can see the Queen's is even in range of this village. But if it's not, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is giving attack speed to Boomerang and to the attack shooter. Now actually I'm gonna get the Alchemist 401 so that Queen C can also receive the blue. And just take an eye here on the banks and make sure you collect as uh, soon as they're full at 7,000. Um, and now last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get Turbo Charge so that I have another ability other than Queen C level 3 for round 63. So in that way, like I will not need to get the attack zone from 63 or to spend too much cash on other towers just by using the three abilities that I have, Queen Silver 3, Turbo Charge and then Queen Silver 10, I will be able to uh, handle the three ceramic rushes in round 63. So that's just the easy, the easy way. Uh, Alright, ready to collect, here we go. Now, after you collect here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually get Monkey Town and Monkey City first. So you're gonna increase the income that your towers um, provide whenever they're popping balloons. And then you're gonna go for Monkey City, so in that way the banks now can uh, be collected, like they can earn the cash faster. So uh, yeah, they're gonna be full faster in this uh, way. And even if I can't afford the bank right away, I'm gonna just get it like as soon as I have enough cash. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit behind compared to the other uh, banks, right? They're gonna, it's gonna have less cash inside, but it's still better than nothing. All right. Village here three to zero, just boosting a little bit this tech shooter and the boomerang. And now another thing that I'm gonna get from 63 is gonna be this sniper a one four zero, and then hopefully also two four zero, so they have some extra damage coming from the sniper as well on these ramag rushes. And I also like to go for the fourth and the fifth upgrade here in the middle path because that's also gonna give me some extra cash with the activated ability so that's of course uh, very nice so here we go just leave the sniper here on first 140 and then here uh, 240 now also I'm gonna have the sniper activated ability here that I'm gonna use as many times as I can whenever it's uh, it's available 
so I can uh, just get the extra cash. Now here, as I said before, you're gonna use a turbo charge for the first ceramic crush. Then you wanna use a queen syllable three for the second one. Uh, okay, the sniper ability there. And then you wanna use queen syllable 10 for the last rush. So you can see here, using three abilities for the three rushes and boom, that's it. That's, uh, that makes round 63 super, super easy. And you even have a turbo charge back again in case you struggle too much against the 45 mobs in 64. So yeah, that's it. From now on, the strategy is gonna be super, super easy because you're gonna just uh, you know, keep on placing these banks, try to increase your income, uh, and then getting the tar fab upgrades you know, to make this tower strong, then going also for the perma brew, and then just placing maybe a couple of towers that do some additional damage just for the very last rounds, and then that's it. That's gonna be improbable on this map. Uh, made uh, easy with no monkey knowledge. So collecting here. Actually, I'm gonna now sell this bank and I'm gonna replace it correctly because now that I placed the top one, I know that like, I'm gonna try to place them uh, as close as possible, one to the other. So in that way, I might be able to create some more room to place more. So let's see, this is gonna be four. The range of the village, of course, that gives the boost of uh, cash. That's five. And that's it, I think, because here there isn't enough room to even like place a farm. And let's see, maybe on the opposite side. Yeah, maybe here I can go for one more. That's six and actually seven. Nice. So, seven, I think it's a pretty good number. Normally, like, uh, you could still place more if you wanna, like, have a ton of cash, but I don't recommend going for more banks because at the end of the day, you're gonna have so much cash that uh, you're gonna have too much cash. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to really spend it on any useful towers. All the towers they're gonna place are gonna just do a surplus amount of damage, so they're gonna do. Um, already too much damage, uh, too much of the damage that you're gonna need to actually uh, survive until round 100. It's the goal of Impopable. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Those are the seven banks here in range of this Monkey City Village. All the towers as well are in range of this village, so they're providing me with some extra income. And um, and yeah, as I said, from now on, I'm gonna go a lot quicker and I'm gonna just get first the Elite Sniper to get the extra uh, cash as well from the ability. And then I'm gonna just go for Tag Zone, probably Perma Charge, then uh, Perma Brew. And, uh, and then of course I will keep an eye on the banks whenever they're gonna be closer to full, at like 6.6 thousand, uh, 6.6 thousand cash, something like that. I'm gonna uh, collect without stopping through the rounds. So I'm gonna end up losing some cash in the process, but um, this is gonna just speed up the gameplay a lot more. Unfortunately here on the other part of the, of the intersection, you can't place towers. So unfortunately here, it's just off limits. Uh, because of these rocks, I guess. But it would be very cool if you could place a tower also on this other side, because in that way you cover all the four corners around the intersection, and that's of course the the best positions. All right, so just using now this sniper ability uh, every time that it's up to get the extra cash. And now probably here, I think I can already collect at the end of this round. So I will try to be quick here with my fingers. Uh, and as soon as I see around 75 starting, I'm gonna collect. All right. That's now attack zone. I'm gonna also get this village four to zero. 
so that the uh, this tacton is even stronger. And uh, now here, yeah, I think I'm gonna just go for Perma Charge next. Then uh, Perma Brew. Next time I collect with the banks, probably I'm gonna be getting the Perma Brew. And then I don't know, like I could place. I think I have enough room here to maybe go for another Tax Shooter, maybe going for the top path. The Inferno Ring. That also has the Meteor that can uh, uh, make the tower attack all the, all the map. So that could be a good option here, going for more of attack shooter, a kind of uh, strategy based, rather than the usual like super monkey that I get. But, uh, but yeah, actually maybe going for, maybe going for like a super monkey right here, right? Could be, could be nice so that I can, I can destroy this balloons a little bit sooner. So that's the only thing that, you know, I don't really like a lot about towers that have limited range is the fact that you need to wait for enemies to come to you. So whenever you have your towers placed, instead towers with either unlimited range like the sniper or like the ace or like mortar where you can just decide where they're gonna attack or towers with very large range like super monkeys right when you go for the middle path you can just cover such a large area um but yeah let's see i might get here i might get i might try to like then sell this bank right and maybe going for a super monkey to just be able to damage the blitz a bit sooner and then going for attack shooter Maybe, maybe that could be my strategy. But yeah, I mean, at this stage, you can go for whatever upgrade or whatever tower you prefer or you or you like the most, because it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that after I get Permabrew and maybe I get this village to primary expertise, I can probably just survive with just these five offensive towers. Well, six, counting the village Balisa attack. That is just how good this com combo is. Alright, now... Um, can I collect? Yeah, I'm gonna collect at the end of next round. So at the end of round 84. You can see also the insane amount of cash I'm earning just by destroying the balloons. Because of the village uh, monkey town passive. Right, collection, here we go. Uh, Permabrew. Then, um, yeah, as I said before, let's sell that uh, the bank. Let's place here, attack shooter in range of the camo detention village. And the village also is gonna boost like the piers uh, and all that stuff. Uh, and let's go here for the inferno ring, right? Five, zero, two. So in this way now I can at least like start damaging the balloons as they come out, as you can see. So this is gonna speed up the gameplay a lot more. And um, now here, unfortunately, the super monkey is gonna be out of range of the of the permabrew. I would really like the permabrew to give the buffs and then just uh, moving the super monkey around somehow. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I might even just uh, ignore all of this and just go for this for this combo right here, just going for next primary expertise, and then that's it. Or even just disregarding the perma brew, and just placing anyway a uh, super monkey right here. Right, that could also be a solution. So let's go first with primary expertise. That should boost as well like the damage uh, attack speed, no peers of these primary towers. Uh, and also now because of the ballista attack, the village can be buffed. So with the extra range now, I can even reach the uh, the sniper. And maybe now I can even 
make it reach the super monkey, as you can see. So yeah, that's that's nice. All right, let's go for the middle path. Let's go for the robot monkey. I like a lot the changes on the robot monkey. Now the fact that you can crit, it uh, it looks awesome, and also it feels like you're doing a ton of damage. So let's collect here and let's sell the banks. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just get this super monkey two four zero, just for the sake of using some of this cash, and that should be it for the. Even the BD, I don't think I will need any ability for the BD, but maybe maybe I will use the uh, the Pormor Charge ability. But yeah, that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm gonna just leave you now. I'm gonna just uh, uh, there are just a few rounds left. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and see ya. Bye bye.